Hello! Today you're going to learn how to salvage a laptop hard drive. Now I know a lot of you out there probably had a laptop that died and thought, oh, you know, I, gotta, I have to send all, I have to somehow transfer all this information over to my new machine. You actually don't. Um, if you'd like to just use the drive as a slave drive, I'm going to show you how to remove it and use it as a slave drive. It's really cheap and it's really simple. Okay? So really all you're going to need is your laptop that you just don't want anymore but you want the information or you want the storage space off of it. An external case, you can pick this up at Best Buy or CompUSA or online. And a jeweler's screwdriver. So let's get started. So first you're going to start by turning over the, the laptop. Now you're going to find some areas that apparently have something underneath it that are serviceable. You're gonna, you, each one's going to look slightly different, so you're going to need to figure out which one's which. But in this case, it's this port right here. So, we're going to open up that port. And there's the drive. So, depending on the situation here, this one looks a little bit unique. I've never quite seen anything like that before. Okay. And it's out. So this is the drive. I just have some little rubber things. That's the drive. Okay. Let's close this up. I'm going to put these back in. Alright. And we're going to put this aside. Here's the case that we're going to use. Now what you really need to pay attention to is making sure you get the case with the correct interface for the drive that you're pulling out. So the first thing you should probably do is look up the machine that you have, find out what the interface is. In this case this is a SATA, serial ATA drive, and buy the appropriate case for it. Okay. So. In this case it's pretty simplistic, there's not much to it. All you do is you take your drive and make sure you line up the connector with the drive interface. Just like so. And it did. And in this case, for some reason they didn't give us screws, um, or at least it didn't show up in the bag, so I may have to find some screws or I can rub a, a rubber band around it but that's it that's all there is to it now to prove you that it works let's test it out okay so we have our USB cable that actually came with the enclosure so we're gonna plug it into that and then you're gonna plug it into your your computer and as you can see the light came up on a on the drive enclosure and you can see the drive just popped up right here. So this is it right here. And that's the drive contents. Everything's there. So now I have a laptop drive that I'm using as an external slave. So that's it for today's video. I hope you liked it and stay tuned for more.